As part of your farm water supply system, it's really important to have it properly designed, well selected and properly installed. The first thing is the basics of the budgeting. You need to have your budgeting sorted out so you know what you're trying to achieve and that's what you're designing. What you're trying to do is work from what the stock need backwards. We need to go with the highest carrying capacity, we need to make realistic estimates of the usage per head per day. The peak flow rate it comes from the fact that the stock like to water in the morning and the evening and a whole lot of stock at once sort of creates a peak demand and it does take about that four hour period is roughly when you think they want to drink as a rule of thumb. So you need to be able to deliver all the water in a four hour period, not over all the hours in a day. And so that will determine the pipe sizes and the valve sizes and all the rest to get that water moving through. On this farm that we're on, the flow rate required is well met, actually more than capable of delivering the water required with a good system. Once you know what the flow rate is, when you've worked from the head of stock and you want to get it done in four hours, you can work out what the flow rate is in, in litres per minute or litres per day. Assuming the bore can deliver it, or if it's on a dam, you then size the pump to suit that flow rate and the pressure it's got to go to. There are myriads of pumps on the market. They're not very expensive. And if you get the right one to do the job, it will serve you really well uh, and work efficiently. The pipe work that reticulates the water from the dam or the pump or the tank to the stock is often considered, it doesn't matter. But it does matter because uh, firstly, you've got to have the right pressure rating. If you buy a cheaper bit of pipe, and we always want to buy something that's a bit cheaper, it might not have the right pressure rating, so it might fail. If, a, if the pressure rating is wrong. More importantly is the size or the diameter of the pipe. Water running through pipes actually has friction and that friction against the walls will slow up the flow rate. The smaller the diameter, the more that friction is and the longer the length of the pipe, the more that friction is. So if you're going a long distance, you need to have a bigger diameter pipe. Now the reason why you want that is if, if you might have the flow rate from your bore and you might have enough water in your tank, but the size of the pipe might choke the system and not let the water get out to the troughs where the stock are as quickly as you want. So you need to design that size of pipe to suit. So moving on from the pipes, selection of the troughs and installing them is really, really important. Firstly, the size of the trough. We need to have enough capacity in the trough to handle the stock that are gonna be accessing it. And also where the pipe work comes into the trough, you've normally got a, a gate valve, so you can isolate it if anything goes wrong. But that pipe work and the valve work, it's also good to have that protected. The actual design numbers that you start with, you've got to think, well, where am I? What's the climate? How much water have I got? What's the topography? Where will I put the tank? Where will the piping go? Where's the bore? All those things will matter because it tells you how far you've got to move things. It gives you the pressures you're talking about. It gives you the distances. So all the designs will be unique. You don't just say, I can pull something off the shelf. Every situation is unique. So you need to get someone who can do the design for you on your farm. So the big picture on this farm is we've got a bore just down on the lower points that's delivering the water from a relatively shallow depth. The bore is only about 40 metres deep and uh, the, the standing water level is about 12 metres. So that's brilliant. It's a solar powered bore. That's also got that mains backup, which means it's extremely reliable. And it pumps water up the hill to this tank behind me, which is about a 95,000 litre tank. And that's giving a command in pressure terms of about 40 metres head from this tank to the lowest trough. And that's going to be the pressure that will push the water to the trough if the pump's not working. That will determine for us the pipe sizes. So it comes up to this tank, then there is the pipes running from this tank all the way through the farm with little offtakes to a trough in each paddock, a trough of about a thousand litre size. There's almost zero losses on this place because the system is fully contained. The water is not uh, open down there, it comes from a bore that's underground. It's pumped through a closed pipe to this tank, which has got a, a closed roof, fully enclosed, so there's no evaporation, there's no seepage losses, and then it's reticulated to the, uh, all of the troughs in, in good time and the troughs are a good sturdy quality trough which I, I think are all set also quite firmly. That means that this system should supply the water at the rate you want very reliably for a long time. The installation of a system and, and its, uh, its longevity is really important to have it designed properly, components selected properly and everything installed well. If that's done your system will work well for a long time. 
If any of those are actually compromised, it might not. So if you do the job when you can, do the job comprehensively, do it well, and it'll go for a long time.